Welcome in. Here's an interesting question from an exam. And it's not a very hard one. And you should be able to show this particular and answer this question. So even if you are just starting off learning about vectors, so this would have been a grade 12 kind of calculus and vectors question. It asks us, is the following distributive property for the dot product true? Now, if you remember what the distributive property for the dot product is, you would notice that this actually is not true for sure. However, if you forget it, you know, you should be able to show it. And of course, on a test exam or anything else that you might see this question, you can't just say, no, it's not true. You have to provide reasoning and typically uh, one way to do it or the easiest way to do this is to for sure for instance do it by component wise now because this is a grade 12 question i'm going to assume that it's in three dimensions but it can be extended to any dimension that you like so i'm going to follow it by the three dimension of the vectors so three components the x y and z component or z component but if you want to extend it to the nth dimension, you certainly can do that. So how would we show that this is actually not true? Well, so I can start with this right off the bat. And with this, what you will find, so this is the left-hand side of this particular property that is given. So what we would have is we have two vectors. I'm going to take the first vector. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take its components and break it down into its Cartesian format. So that would be V1, X, V1, Y, and V1, Z. That is my vector one, and I wanna be able to dot it with my second vector, and that will be V2, X, V2, Y, V2, Z. Now, we wanna find the dot product, and then we wanna multiply it by K. And if you notice that if you take the dot product in here, what you will find is this is nothing else but V1X times V2X plus V1Y multiplied by V2Y plus V1Z multiplied by V2Z. So those are all the components. That's the dot product that you would have. And now, if you're gonna be multiplying this by k, well, this is nothing else but simply, you can distribute this across right here, all the way through, and then what you will find is this is nothing else, but there you have it. We have our k, which is just being distributed across, and that would have been our answer. Now, that's the left-hand side. Now, if you take the right-hand side of this, so if I'm going to take all of this right here and try to do the same thing, you'll notice that we're gonna be running into trouble. It's not gonna be equal. So let me do that as well, and I'll do it in a different color within here. So we have basically the dot product. This is K times V1. So K times V1 is gonna be K v1x, k, v1y, and k, v1z. That's gonna be this right here. And now this is supposed to be dotted with your second, so this is gonna be k, this is gonna be v2x, k, v2y, and k, V to Z, and there you go. Now, if you take the dot product, you'll notice that this is going to be now K squared, V1, X, V, 2X, plus K squared, V1, Y, V, 2Y, plus K squared, V1, Z, and V2Z. Well, as you can see here, this, okay, right there, is certainly not the same thing as this. And that would show you that these two are actually not equal. So if you're gonna go right here, 
Well, these are definitely not equal. And that's how you can actually prove this and say that it is false. So this is not the distributive property. In fact, the distributive property, you may recall, states that if you are multiplying the dot product between two vectors, then the distributive property simply states that it's going to be one of the vectors that is being scaled dotted with the other one, or you can distribute across the other vector, which would have been V1, and this is KV2. That is the distributive property and not the one that they've shown. So that is it, okay? Thanks for watching. See you in a future video. Bye, everybody.